Um, here's my reports for the last um, two months. I uh, was not here last month for uh, some medical reasons. I apologize. Um, so as you can see per my uh, report, there was uh, 20, per 20 permits. Um, I'm just putting 20 plus um, complaints. We have several, several going. Thank you. Um, Certificate of occupancy is 15 issued. Certificate of compliance is fifth, uh, five. Um, we did get our date DEC. Uh, I think he's missing my report, maybe. <laughs> Daryl has it. Oh, oh. Daryl, yeah. Um, yeah. It's in there. Jake's got it. It's in the end. It's not in there. Oh, oh, cool. It's right. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> really? So I guess I will read it fully. That's <laughs> okay. Are you sure? Did you go all the way to the end? Did you go all the way to the end? Are, is this user error? Did you go all the way to the end? Yes, yes. I went all the way to the end. No, I don't have it. I got the issue. Well, that's weird. Right, I'll make sure I fully read it. I'll, I'll go quick so we can uh, move on. So, still working on updating stormwater management program plan. We did receive the audit back from New York State DEC. And we'll be working on specified some spec, spec, specified items and corrective measures for them. Still working diligently to try and work on closing up old permits. Uh, Brittany Woods subdivision is nearing completion. Only one unit left that needs final CFO. Work is continuing on the corrective measures with their pond. Once this is completed, I can close out the permits. Um, yeah, update on that pond situation. It's a work in progress. We still haven't gotten a design plan, but we do have some, I'll call them complications that have arisen in the last, uh, the last week with one of their units that uh, the village was not notified of a structural collapse that they hid from us um, on one of the buildings. Um, we have a meeting tomorrow. Uh, myself, Jake, one of their representatives, um, they don't know that we have the pictures and everything from it. Um, but it's, it's, it's not a good situation. We're probably going to be bringing down in on it because um, it might involve revoking their receivable for that, for that building. Um, actually, I'll probably say it will involve revoking that. Are there um, people living in the building? There is. Um, it's, it's, it's been fixed, but nobody knew about the repairs. And we actually have their engineer's report that signed off on those repairs. But it appears that they weren't honest with their own engineer as to the depth of the collapse. Um, he, he was given the information today and uh, we'll just say he was surprised at it. Um, so that'll be tomorrow and, and obviously an upcoming conversation with many people. So Don, be on the, uh, be on the alert. <laughs> um, <coughs> Let's see, Greenbrier Crossing is working on their construction and, ret and retention ponds as well as the roads, utilities have also been started and will be ongoing for the next several months before any building starts. They do hope to get a few units in the ground before the colder weather gets here. There have been several days, delays obviously due to the weather. Um, Xerox subdivision sale is continuing, information will be distributed as we get it. Country Manor has been placed on the violation list with multiple violations. They do include health and safety. Uh, this will not be an easy process and will be time consuming. Um, I do have, as of right now, one unit red tagged um, with possibly more to come. Again, we're just finding out a lot of information of unlivable units and uh, roach infestation in multiple buildings. And it's, Was this due to tenant complaints? Um, several of them were, yeah. And some of them were complaints from the management staff at the unit that's kind of domino affected on their end of it. So, water in the basements? Yep, water in the basements is, is part of it. Um, some of the units they can't even rent out because they have water and mold and everything else appears to be coming up through the floors. Um, so again, this is gonna be a, a lengthy process and trying to figure out what, what we're gonna do with all these buildings. Um, and it is also going through a sale right now. So the new owner is being brought up to speed on it as well. Um, I think he kind of knows what he's getting into, but you know, we'll we'll see. Don, be on the alert for that one as well. <laughs> um, other than all that I just mentioned, um, we obviously have several other projects going. Some small, some that are you know a little bit bigger. Um, but 
I'll keep everybody up to date. I feel bad for you. I'm only getting 15 <laughs> bucks now. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, um, I think that's all. That's all I have.